Hi, folks. It's good to see you all here again. Welcome to my channel AI Positive. In today's video we will going to discuss about re-level test preparation. How to get prepare. What skills do I need? Where I will get resources as per test syllabus. This video will be helpful to you to learn about how to clear a re-level test for getting a data analyst job. I will go through step by step in detail. In this video we provide summary or explanation of these topics which will be very constructive for your upcoming career as a data analyst. But before we actually get started make sure hit the like button subscribe my channel by pressing the bell icon so that you can get notifications for my next videos. And please comment down below with any questions if you have. So we will go through the some important topics which I'm going to discuss with you. Please watch this video till the end so that you don't miss any important information. Introduction Data is useful for many purposes, when analyzing problems related in real life, it helps us get acquainted more with those types thereof. In other words, understanding what needs being understood from different aspects leads naturally to better solutions. There's no right way as far I'm concerned, there is absolutely nothing wrong with having some knowledge or experience. Data analytics has become an increasingly important skill for both business professional and aspiring technology professional. As such, there is a growing demand for people with these skills. Before you can start your career in data analytics, though you should make sure that you have the right preparation. In this video, we'll cover what data analytics is and then dive into some of the best ways to prepare yourself for a career in this field. Scope of Data Analytics Additionally, they use data to pinpoint inefficiencies and other pressing company issues. The role of the data analyst in these companies is to provide a numerical value to these crucial business operations so that performance can be evaluated and compared across time. But an analyst's work is more than simply looking at numbers. They must also be able to use data to help a business make better decisions. Data analytics is the process of extracting knowledge or insights from data. This is a broad field and includes many specialties such as machine learning, business intelligence, and predictive analytics. Data analytics is a skill in demand and will continue to be as our world becomes more reliant on collecting, storing, and analyzing large amounts of data. Data analytics can be used for many things including forecasting consumer behavior, optimizing supply chain logistics and inventory management, preventing fraud in financial transactions, or detecting patterns in medical records to help diagnose patients more accurately. Data analysts use various techniques like statistical modeling to make predictions about future trends based on historical data sets, historical sales figures over time. They also use algorithms, a series of steps that can be programmed into computer programs to help automate tasks such as filtering out spam emails before you see them. Data Analysis and Visualization Data analysis is a comprehensive investigation carried out to reveal the results of particular data points. Data analytics, on the other hand, involves looking at these large amounts of data and identifying trends that can help you make better decisions. These two terms are sometimes used interchangeably, especially in business environments, but they actually mean different things. Data analysis is a part of data science. Data science is much more complicated than simple analytics, it requires an understanding of algorithms, which are mathematical procedures designed to produce results based on known inputs and assumptions about how something works or should behave under certain conditions. To put it another way, the goal of data science is not only to predict future outcomes but also explain why those outcomes occur in order for them to be replicable in similar situations going forward, or if something doesn't work correctly. On the other hand, when we're talking about using technology like Power BI or DAX Analytics, formerly DAX, Specifically as part of your job responsibilities as an analyst or marketer there's less emphasis on prediction since these tools are primarily intended for visualizing existing data rather than generating new insights from scratch. Here I am taking two examples which are bar chart and pie chart. Bar charts are best used to compare a single category of data or several while the pie chart is a pictorial representation of data that makes it possible to visualize the relationships between the parts and the whole of a variable. Data Science Data science is the study of data. Like biological sciences is a study of biology, physical sciences, it's the study of physical reactions. Data is real, data has real properties, and we need to study them if we're going to work on them. Data science involves data and some science. It is a process, not an event. Data science is a broad term that can be used to describe almost any function related to data. The difference between data science and analytics, then, is that the former usually refers to more advanced functions like machine learning and artificial intelligence, AI. Data scientists are only needed when there's enough real-world data available that it becomes challenging for other types of analysts, or even businesses as a whole, to figure out what they're supposed to do with it. That may not sound like much, 
But these days there are many companies looking at their own internal data sets as well as those from third-party providers in order to make better business decisions on how best to improve their products and services moving forward. Python for data analysis is a trendy question these days and here I would like to ask you why you should use the Python programming language for your data analysis. Here I will be giving my opinion on whether or not using Python and data analysis would be best decision for you. Let me explain it with my real-life example. Python is developer-friendly. Python is an open source. Very big intellectual communities are supporting Python. There are so many stable releases in the market for Python. There are so many web developers who are already working Python. All these rank Python up in the air. I mean in the list of other alternatives. Just because of strong community support there are so many API available in Python. Now developers need not to write so much code explicitly for the same task. The community also support and documentation part of API. DAX is a formula language for Power BI. It's similar to SQL and is used to create measures, calculated columns, calculated fields, KPIs and tables. Measures are like measures in Excel but they don't have to be numerical values. You can also use them for text or Boolean values. For example, you might have a measure called number of employees that shows how many employees you have but you could also have another measure called productivity per employee which would show how many products each employee produces each month. Calculated columns are columns that show data from other columns in your data model using DAX formulas, measures. This means that if one of your measures changes then any calculated column based on it will also change automatically. This can save lots of time when updating large amounts of data because only one thing needs changing rather than all parts affected by it. Calculated fields are used to do things like add up numbers across different rows, for example, adding up revenues, calculate averages or percentages based on cells elsewhere in the same row, finding totals between multiple rows, e, g, total revenue per product category over total revenue per product type, etc. Data visualization is the technique of representing data through graphs, charts, and other types of visual representation. Data visualization has become increasingly important in our digital world because it allows you to communicate your findings in a meaningful way that people can understand quickly and easily. In this section, we will look at how to make effective use of data visualization tools such as Tableau and Power BI, but first let's explore the different types of visualizations you can create using those tools. Bar graphs show numerical comparisons between two or more variables. The most common. Bar graph compares one variable against another, for example, number of sales versus number of customers of two sister companies, but they can also be used to compare multiple variables against each other, for example, total sales versus average size. Pie charts are used when there are only two categories for comparison, for example, gender, pie. Charts work well when comparing small sets of data points or percentages within each category. Data analytics is a multidisciplinary field, and it takes time to master each of the skills needed to work as a data analyst or even as a data scientist. If you're looking to become an analyst, your first step should be learning how to use Power BI, Business Intelligence, and DAX, Data Analysis Expression. Once this is done, you can start working on reporting, dashboarding, and data storytelling. Whether or not you go into data analytics as a career path depends on what type of professional you want to become, analyst or scientist. As an analyst, your job will be more focused on collecting and analyzing data than presenting it through visualizations like dashboards or reports, but as a scientist who specializes in big data analysis, or if your goal is simply contributing toward company strategies for gaining insights from their data, you'll spend more time working with Python developers developing tools that can help manage incoming information coming in from various sources. Conclusion With this in mind, you can start your journey into data analytics with a clear idea of what to expect. Whether you're a student or someone considering a career change, it's important to choose the best preparation for yourself based on your goals. If you decide to pursue a self-paced route like online courses, make sure that they have the topics and skills you need to be successful in your dream job. Some online courses will even offer career support, but if you want more guidance along the way or hands-on practice with real-world projects, a boot camp might be better suited for your needs. Either way, we hope this video presentation has helped set the right expectations for your path toward becoming an awesome data analyst. There are many websites and YouTube channels that are available with knowledgeable resources to become a data analyst. I have put the links to them in the description below for you. Another suggestion you can also follow my way which might be helpful for you. I am sharing my job preparation Google Sheet link where you can get all required resources towards becoming an awesome data analyst. And now thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you all the very best for your next job as a data analyst. So till then bye bye. Happy learning.